show you a little piece of history here. Uh, I'm gonna show you where the nine, one, a couple of the 9-11 terrorists stayed in South Portland before they got on um, to the airport here um, to board a plane. It's right over here. That day's in is where they stayed and then they boarded a plane at the South Portland airport and the rest is unfortunately history. So I'm going to go actually to Best Buy down here and get my equipment here so I don't have to stop on the way home. Then we'll continue on. So this Irving gas station right off the interstate before you head off on Route 11 is kind of has a lot of history to it for me anyway. Um, as a kid, anytime we went to Bangor, anytime we went anywhere south of northern Maine, this was the stop both directions, especially going north on Route 11. Once you get off the interstate and you get on Route 11, this is the place you want to make sure you do your business. <laughs> you go to the bathroom, you get your gas. There's not a gas station, at least not one with many um, with many facilities. If there's even a bathroom in any of them, there are rest areas with an outhouse, which is not fun to use. What's really funny is through the years, every time I stop here now, <clears throat> it's kind of nostalgic to me. I walk in and I'm like, oh, wow, the place has changed so much. and this used to be a cafe and now it's just uh they converted it into just another part of the store they could pretty much rebuilt the whole inside but it's funny because the clerk is probably some kid straight out of high school doesn't even know who i am and probably thinking this guy is like a total weirdo <laughs> just but i mean it is just like a landmark that i always kind of stop at and it brings back a lot of memories but we are about to make the trek on Route 11. I only have 90 miles left to get to Northern Maine. And when I say Northern Maine, I mean 
the border on the border of Canada. It's probably the I would say the hardest part of this trip is long and there's a lot of unexpected things like there are hills there are towns that just kind of come out of the the woods all of a sudden and it's you have to kind of make sure to pay attention to speed signs and slow down when you enter a town um, because it just comes out of nowhere and uh, there are animals you'll see fields with deer you'll see moose if you go at night you'll see both of those things crossing the road. I remember the first time I took my wife to Northern Maine that it was close to the evening, which is when the moose come out and they were all over the side of the road. One of them was running in the road and I intentionally slowed down the car to the pace of the moose. So it was literally running outside the window. Like its head was about three inches from the window on my wife's side, uh, my girlfriend's side at the time. And uh, it was, I would say one of the experiences she's never forgotten and there are a lot of those i had a deer jump in front of my car when i was driving up to eagle lake from uh university of maine um which was probably the most terrifying moment of my life it became interest from the front of the hood thankfully uh it stopped on the side of the road well into the road a little bit and i kind of sped up around the side of it instead of braking if i if i braked i might have hit it because it kept on crossing the road but anyway you never know what to expect on Route 11. It's only three o'clock, well, 4.30 now, um, and I'm heading out there, so it's not really gonna be dark when I'm on that stretch, but you still never know. I've seen moose, I've seen wildlife. I'm looking forward to this drive, even though it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be tiring. I've got snacks and drinks, and I went to the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm good to go. Let's do this last leg of this trip and get to Northern Maine.
Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to Northern Maine. I've actually been here a week. I had to work remotely. Um, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to do outdoor stuff. I had a class reunion this past weekend, which uh, was kind of my first actual activity here in Northern Maine, other than working and spending time with the family. The reunion was amazing. I just, first reunion, high school reunion I've ever really been to. Met some old friends, many who I uh, hadn't seen in so long, just talked to on, sometimes on Facebook, but some people I hadn't talked to since high school, and it was surreal. It was amazing. Um, even reestablished lost friendships. Uh, it was emotional, and it was actually kind of sad when it was all over because we had so much fun. Ended up doing it, uh, doing stuff for two days instead of the one that was planned. We, you know, we went out to eat and had some drinks, and it was just a really good time. So, all of you, class of 1993 out there, if you happen to be watching this, love the time I spent with you. Um, it was just a beautiful experience, and I'm very much looking forward to our next one in 10 years. So, stay safe, everyone. Really looking forward to seeing you. Um, for all the viewers out there, we're going to be, I'm going to be introducing you to my hometown, Eagle Lake, Maine. Um, kind of where I grew up, school I went to, the lake, beautiful views. I think it's hard to explain to people how beautiful it is where I grew up. And I'm also going to show you Fort Kent where I went to high school. Again, beautiful views. There's a river that goes by there. Um, and I'm going to be heading over to the Allagash area. Um, <laughs> This is called the St. John Valley, and in that area, it's beside a lake and mountains on the left, you'll see why they call it the St. John Valley. It's just beautiful. I'm sure you see the mosquitoes flying around. It's one big difference uh, with the area uh, here in the Smoky Mountains is there's more mosquitoes. They're actually not as bad as I thought they were going to be. I remember them being horrendous, but that's usually after a storm. Um, they're just annoying. They get on you and this isn't too bad actually this the this the trails dry so um, I think you're going to enjoy this if any of you have ever contemplated visiting northern Maine I hope this gives you a little sample of the beauty of northern Maine and um, it's like another country it's like another country it's the accents are different people are friendly um, it's so much fun if you love the outdoors um, even in the winter if you like snowmobiling skiing Lots of great stuff to do, so come along with me. I'm going to introduce you to Northern Maine. Watch the river run And the 
sun would always shine When we sat there, you and I The river's gonna cry when you're gone, gone So I have to admit, it's a little surreal doing um, my first hike in northern Maine where I grew up. Um, not because I don't know the area, it's because I'm so used to doing these hikes in the Smokies. Everything's different here, uh, very different. The trails are, um, like I remember as a kid, more grassy, um, not packed down dirt. Um, these are rugged trails. Not rugged, but just, you know, it's not dirt so packed down by so many people that it's you know that it's a uh, tourist trail although up ahead it's like a little tunnel where we're going today is fish river falls it's only a, about 1.2 miles from when you drive in from the um, from the airport road uh, there's a parking lot right near the airport little um, kind of rural airport um, but you cross over, they let you cross over the airport property to get to this little picnic area here. And then you just dive into the woods and it's a short hike. My, uh, I'm, it's near where my family's staying now. So I wanted to check this out too. Um, so let's, let's check this out today. I, I've heard the falls are really good. I didn't usually explore this area when I was a kid. Usually I went, to the Winterville area um, and western main area behind my house in the woods. It's a little overcast today, so I don't know how the lighting's gonna be, but there's so many things I wanna do on really sunny days that I figured I'd you know, get some of this, this in today and um, show you northern Maine. So this is one beautiful spot everyone everyone goes to. So let's let's take a quick look.
just amazing, isn't it? It's hard to describe just how beautiful it is up here. It's a different feel than Tennessee, Virginia, North Carolina. It's uh, It's got this very much, it's got this crisp, clean feel out here. The air is cleaner, the water is clearer. Um, it's just, brings back a lot of memories hiking out here.